Hello everyone, I'm Nitin and in this video I'm going to explain the three different ways to declare variables in JavaScript var, let and const with some examples. The var keyword declares function scoped or globally scoped variables and the let and const keyword declare block scope variables or constants. First of all, I'm going to declare a variable without using any keyword. So if we declare any variable like this global var1 without any keyword var let or const then it will be a global variable similar to declaring variable with var keyword now let's run it and see the output here however this declaration in non strict mode is only possible in CJS modules but not in ESM modules so on your system this may or may not work if package dot JSON file has common JS then it will work but if I change this to module then it will not work so let's run it and you can see now global var1 is not defined so it is only possible in cjs module but not in esm module so i just go to package.json file and change this to common js and it should work again this type of declaration is not good practice but i'm just showing you all possible syntaxes and what is good and what is not so we should use a strict mode which is good practice to eliminate some of JavaScript silent errors by changing them to throw errors and you see you just need to write use strict and then you apply a strict mode and as soon as I write use strict you can see it is highlighted in red that means it is an error but it will still work because we have common JS in our package.json file so let's run it and you can see the output remember on your system the first command may or may not work depending on your package dot json file so what i would do i would just comment out this to avoid any error and once you apply use strict then it is better to use this kind of declaration with var let and const now we will look at var keyword and its scope first in function let's write a function called test var when you use var within the function it is function scope let's run it and you can see the output of this function but we simply calling the function function here and this var is used within the function so it is working fine but if I call this variable outside the function like this see what happens so just comment out this one and this one and let's run it and see my var is not defined because this is function scope now we understand what is function scope so let's write var within block. We can uncomment this. If we declare var in any block like this, a block you can see curly braces, this is our block. Then it behaves as a globally scoped variable and you can see the output of this var within the block. Here if true means always execute this block of code. We just set the condition so this block will always work. Now let's look at the second keyword let within the block I have declared here my let one variable using let keyword within this block and I'm calling this my let one variable outside of this block as you can see here and let's run it so you can see error here my let one is not defined because you are calling outside of this block this variable if I just move this inside the block and comment this out and run it then it will work because my let is declared using the let keyword within the block and I'm calling this variable or using this variable within the block so that's why it is working now let's look at the third keyword const which is very similar to let and here I've declared my const one variable or constant using the keyword const within this block and I'm calling this outside the block see what happens and you can see my const one is not defined same error as let if I move this within the block comment this out first and now I'm using within the block so it should work as you can see my const one is block scope remember the var keyword was introduced at the very beginning of JavaScript to declare variables whereas let and const are modern JavaScript keywords for variable declaration introduced in ECMAScript 6 and they are generally better than var with a smaller scope and make the code safer and more predictable. Now we are going to look at problems with var keyword and why we should not use var keyword. So the first problem it allows 
redeclaring a variable. That means you can declare a variable again. So let's see here I've declared a variable my var to using this VR keyword and now if I run it's perfectly fine I'm not displaying anything with console.log I'm just testing this now I'm going to declare this variable again and let's run it see what happens and there's no error so that means it is not giving any problem in redeclaring a variable and that is not good practice let's do it again so for the third time and you will see no error so this is the problem with var now let's do this redeclaration with let and see what happens so i'm declaring a variable my let2 using this let keyword and this is the first time so it should be fine but we need to see if i redeclare it then what will happen so i've declared it for the second time and you can see identifier my let2 has already been declared so it's giving an error so it is not possible with let keyword whereas you can see I've defined same variable my var2 three times so that is a problem with var keyword and if we do the same thing with const so const will give us an error in the same way as we got with the let so let's just do it but before you do it you need to comment this out and this is the first time I'm declaring my const2 so there's no error but if I just redeclare it my const 2 again then it will give us error so let's do it and now run it see and you get the same error identifier my const 2 has already been declared so let and const are very similar except the one difference which we are going to look at at the end now let's look at another problem with var but before we look at we need to comment this out so make sure we don't have any previous error yeah and the second problem with var is that it allows using a variable before declaring it so let's see here we have defined the variable my var3 using the keyword var and I can use this variable before its declaration so console.log and I just want to print this variable and it should be fine so see it is just giving the undefined but no error as we already know why we get undefined yeah obviously if you don't declare this variable like this line then it will give us error so if you just delete this and run it again you get the error because this variable is not defined at all but if you just declare it after using it and it should be fine so no error but let's see what happened with let and const so let's do with let so if I declare my let 3 variable using let keyword and I'm using before declaring it and let's run it and see it's giving us an error cannot access my let 3 before initialization and that is a problem using the const keyword and if we run we get the same error just like we got with let so okay we need to comment this line as well to see const error and if we run it again you see cannot access my const3 before initialization so we are getting the same error like let as we know they are pretty much similar so we have seen problems with var and we should not use var keyword now let's look at the main difference between let and const before you do anything you just comment out all the lines otherwise they will display some error so main difference between let and const let can be updated or or reassign but not redeclare in the same scope so here I've declared the variable my let4 using the let keyword and I can just run it that's the first time so no problem at all yeah but what I can do here I can change the value of this my let4 and see what happens so if I just change a value so I've assigned a new value this slightly modified uh, string which I'm saying this my let is updated for the second time that's what we are doing so you see now there is no problem we can do it but we cannot declare it again so if I just do let my let 4 which we have already done it so you see that will give us an error whereas const we cannot update or reassign const so before we do it we make sure we remove this let so it's working and now here you can see const my const 4 so this is a new variable so this is we declared first time so first time is perfectly fine you can see now if I do the same thing just update this value see what happens so do it again and you can see it is already showing red line means error so there's no point of running it but if you do it assignment to constant variable we got the error so you cannot do this note const prevent reassignment of the variable itself 
but it does not make the value inside it immutable especially if the value is an object or array so if i declare this const teacher and object name equals nitin and print this object so it is displaying nitin so if i change this value teacher dot name equals paul and if i run it it should be fine you can see it is displaying paul instead of nitin so remember the reference is constant not the content one last thing before we finish this program we have different ways to handle or concatenate strings so let's say we are declaring some variables here name and age obviously my age is not true but let's assume so we have different ways to concatenate these strings now the first syntax is just a simple traditional concatenation using plus sign so this is how you can print together now there is another modern way to handle these strings and that is known as template literal or template string using dollar curly braces and backtick so if you see here i've written my strings plus all the variables in backticks not single not double quotation remember this is very important so if you run that it will print the same line but the important thing is that if i change this to double quotation marks it won't work so let's run it and you see it's displaying name and age instead of actual value and it won't work either with single quotation marks so remember that is very important you just write back tick in this syntax and then it is fine it will work now in another important thing about template literal that keeps the exact formatting as we write so look at these two syntaxes and if we run these so if you see the output now we need to use here slash n and if we remove this see what happens so can you see here so despite writing two lines it is giving one line because we remove slash n whereas template literal is giving the same style the way we have written so i hope you understand the difference among var let const and strict mode non strict mode and template literals